in a world with no mercy of any items or blocks. Four teams will compete in one world to get everything. Unattainable items such as but not limited to theory blocks, man blocks, spawn eggs, water blocks, bedrock, not included. And there are entities the size of Wither number AI, block, in you, late 79 or bigger. The game is called Set Call Service. More than 700 posts to get, four teams, nine episodes, one team wins, three teams fail. The teams are playing hardcore, so every death will be permanent. But hijinks will occur, which team will get second place? See how team will win, but who will lose? And now, let's introduce the teams! Team BBL, Player 1, Bugman CX. He didn't know what Shift was when he came into Cyberlife, and we're still pretty sure he doesn't know what it's for. Player 2, Black Sun. What's this? I'm getting a note in from the editor. Uh-huh. 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 Alrighty, folks. It seems that instead of a reading, we're gonna give you a QR code to scan to find out what it is that Mr. Black Sun really likes. Player 3, Lena Book. CRT! Player 1, Cosmo Guy 2000! Has been stuck in 2001 A Space Odyssey for so long that he didn't even realize that 18 years had passed and therefore hasn't updated his username. Player 2, Arhelm, rolls right off the tongue, and for good reason. This user has endured the most hellmish of evils. Why the R? Well, you can figure that one out yourself. Player 3, the DVI Master, better than VGA Master, and power with DisplayPort and HDMI Masters. And if you think differently, well, fight me. Uh, that was DVI who wrote that, not us, the narrators. Team Tap, Player 1, Technomage Grim. Some might know him as the inventor of the cocktail Grimlet. If that's true or not, we don't know. Will he ever prove it? We may never know! One thing's for sure, he knows where the mine is. I'll show you where the mine is. Player 2, Alien RS4. Has he ever been seen in real life by anybody? What does an alien look like when they've been on the Earth for so long? Has he already been seen? Is he from the planet RS4? Only he can tell us. Player 3, Photon Burst. Spends most of his time cleaning up after himself. It's not easy bursting photons out all the time. The Cavalry. Player one, Big Spoon Noodle. Is she a spoon noodle? Or is she a Big Spoon Oodle? Let's just go with that she forgot the an extra end. Player two, the Ara! Player three, Chlorine 79! Don't make them salty! Can it cut Chlorine? Sorry? Doing that. <laughs> <laughs> You're making himself a diamond. Yes, get us out of here. <laughs> <laughs> We're swimming away. Oh, we're the diamonds. We're sailing away. There's no diamonds. No, <laughs> no we used them all. Uh, oh, the other things are not in there neither. Damn it. Oh. We do have that now. Right, I'm empty out all my inventory. Minus. A sword and a uh, sword and a shield. Yeah. Just a regular iron sword. That. Well, this has been a blast, definitely. Oh, to say the right. least. Maybe, yeah, you gotta get some. You gotta get some iron stuff going on here. I've got a chest plate for you. Helmet. Get out of my inventory. And some boots. And legs. Where'd you go? Here. Oh, you cheeky devil. Oh. <laughs> he's got he's got diamond everything else. <laughs> oh well. You know where did I oh, where did I put those? Damn it, I I it, it yeah. That's gonna help me a bit.
Here you go. <laughs> I have a stone sword. Yeah. <laughs> well, a nine one's not bad. There you go, there's a real iron sword. Uh, I guess I'm as right, ready as I'll ever be. Oh, actually, there's anything in this chest. Ooh. Is that. I'll take that. Oh, where do y'all like? Oh, I do have those. Oh, I know what I don't have. There we go. A bit better. <laughs> <laughs> Oh goodness gracious. Alright, I guess I'm ready. I'm ready as well. Alright, good luck are everybody. You still, are you still trying to make it pretty? Oh. Um. <laughs> Come on, you're getting in this dude. Ah. We're ready to one one. Yeah, you got the, you got the, you got the, the thing. Oh jeez, I can't keep hitting the. Sheep. I'm dead. I got like a hat. No. <laughs> no. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shame for shame. <laughs> GG. Oh, GG. Hello! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, not again. Never again. I'm about to hit you with an arrow. <laughs> I'll beat you with my arrow. Oh, oh I'm at the Get him, sheep! Thing. Get him! <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, I'm oh, did you pick that up? <laughs> no. Hey. Oh, goodness. Oh, GG. <laughs> Oh, that's what I was after the first time. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it's been a fun series. It has been a blast. It absolutely has been a blast. Playheads. No, wait, they don't drop. <laughs> oh, actually, um, I can put us in spectator mode. This could be like a bonus episode and just see what was around us. Oh, yeah, we totally could do that. That'd be interesting. Episode 10. <laughs> Game mode. Just for funsies. Pete. Right, if it affects us all with night vision as well. Effect at all. Direct give. Night vision. Um, 20 minutes. <laughs> so more than enough. Amplifier true, so you see the particles. There we go. And have a look around. Let's see what we missed. <laughs> oh, that is a big mine shaft. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be really upset if like I get down there and there's diamonds not too far away. <laughs> Oh yeah, there was ca there was cobwebs galore. Wow, galore. I wonder if that's why they picked this thing because a massive mine shaft underneath underneath the shrine. <laughs> Apparently, maybe. How close was I to any diamonds? Was I area? Was I even close at all? No. Oh, I I, I don't have an X-ray texture pack on for for 113 yet. Uh. Are we anywhere? Yeah, we were near lower, but there wasn't anything really good around here. Oh, there is a dungeon um, just to um, the south of our staircase. Zombies. Oh yeah, there's plenty of. There's one, two, three, four spider spawners within like a thirty block area of each other. There's a curse of binding enchanted book in there. Uh, one gunpowder, a bucket. Diamond horse armor, that would have been handy. To I can't open the chest. Oh, um, jump, uh, um, creative mode. Oh, we were so close to it, too. I know. Oh, uh, uh, regular gapple. Uh, more gunpowder. Five gun. Eight gunpowder, so finding that would have been a guaranteed TNT. Oh. Uh. Well, then again, the thing doesn't generate until until the person actually opens it. So it could have been tons of things. Oh, there's a golden apple, wheat, yeah. gold, beetroot, oh, and a skeleton spawner, of course. 
Oh uh, yeah. Oh, what well, I found is a zombie one. Yeah, I'll probably have that fight in the um, this episode as well, like episode ten. <laughs> Might as well. It'd be fun. People are like episode ten. What the? <laughs> Y'all have the fun. Yeah, too right. Whoa, there's so many creepers. In we were actually really close because there's torches galore. I think I was, I was like dangerously close to this area too. Yeah. I think I may have passed by it. Because there's a few torches right next to where the room is. Oh. That's a shame. Oh, flipping heck. It's easy when you know though, isn't it? Right. That's the way it always goes. There was like no mine shaft or anything leading to it. It's just. It's hey. just a random. Welcome back. Welcome back. back. I think during this point you could probably deal with well, no, no, no. that. That's that's a crying shame. Yeah. Digging a tunnel through nothingness. It'd be funny if like someone dug down a random place and found a stronghold. That would have been epic. That would have been amazing. Doing that many oh yeah oh there's, there's loads of skeletons in here. Oh, there's a spider spawner here. Uh, one six, one, one six five minus seventy three. Uh, irons. Oh, saddle. That would have been handy. Another gapple. Nothing too exciting in there to what we already had. So yeah, this is what's um, around us, peeps. I hear a witch. Yeah, yeah. What one in that spider spawn? Maybe it's the same one. Uh, I don't know. Oh, this is another. Sp oh, I fell through the void. <laughs> oh rip! I dug straight down. <laughs> the draw actually creative mode. Oh, gold, ho gold horse armor. That would be handy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I did um, put that in. Na name tag as well. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, there that spider spawn. There's so many spawners around here. There's like three within like yeah. 40 blocks. Yeah, there's a ridiculous. This would be a fun seed to play on, like in a real Survival. setting, not just a. Yeah. Yeah. Admittedly, it really would be. Of record disc in here as well. I'll fly out in the overworld, see if I can find anything special, like a. I don't know, Mesa, anything, really. Yeah. I'm gonna. Oh, but slash locate. I wonder, I wonder where the nearest stronghold is. Minus 7 to 8, minus 1352. Oh, yeah, there was no way we were gonna find that. No. Uh, I'm gonna have to remember the seed. Yeah. Oh, um, I can type it in chat. That may not be a bad idea. There uh, you isn't go. it pinned in the uh, Discord? Uh, yep. Yeah. Because what I can There's do, I can chat. click on it, on it puts here? it in chat, and now I can copy and paste it. There you go, there's the seed. For any and all people who are wondering. Yep. Yeah, I, I don't think I came out this way. Oh yeah, of course it is, yes. Yeah, Villages. As well. All kinds of good stuff around here. So yeah, uh, so the song I might just I, I might just have to start a single player world in this kind of in this world. Yeah. Oh I, I think it's a massive swamp where um I was going. If you mainly went south. It opened up eventually to an ocean. <laughs> I keep finding dark or dark oak forests. I keep getting excited, like maybe there's a woodland. Woodland mansion, yeah. Actually, yeah, I can do that slash locate um mansion. The nearest one is 
Oh, not far, not far away. Five to eight, seven twenty. No shit, seriously. Yeah, no joke. That's oh, close. That's, that's that's depressing. I'll just TP to it, and it's nothing. Right, go crazy. Five to eight, so seven twenty. There we go. We're slowed in now. Yeah, I think spectator generate trunks off. Well, I can't believe this is so close to where we were as well. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna start my own single player world in the seed. Oh, I don't blame you, mate. You're usually like ten thousand blocks away, aren't you? Right. Birchwood Forest. What is anything good in it? A totem of an of undying. That that would have been awesome to get. <laughs> Something that like a whole lot of other teams have done. Yeah. Whoa, there's so many skeletons in here. <laughs> All right, I'm in the dark oak forest, but not see, it's not running in yet. Yeah. Oh, do you want me to TP you to me? Yeah, go ahead, because I'm still not seeing it anywhere. Oh, I see it. I found it. You're right above me. Nice. You I'm... know, I've legitimately never come across one of these. No, I ain't neither. I don't even know where the chests are, neither. Though I would love to make one of these in a survival setting. Yeah. We're not looking to see if I can see any chests. Oh, there you go. Oh, I hear him. I hear the villagers. Hear the illagers. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Fortune one, um, book. That would have been like handy to um, get for more diamonds. I've only seen that one chest. Yeah, there's usually not a whole lot of chest, but there is the uh, the. The illagers and the vex and all the fun, the, the vixen, I can't remember what we call them. Yeah, I know what I mean. Oh, I found another chest here. FE and N is so useful. Nothing much in there. String and the usual things. That's a roof. Oh. I can't believe how close this was. This was no more than 500, uh, well, 700 blocks away. Oh, that's such a shame, too. I oh. know. Sorry, it just means it makes it that much more fun whenever we go into the real world, the single survival world to play. Oh, definitely. People can always pause the video and check out the seed. This is absolutely true. Well, yeah, but... Oh, yeah. I mean, if we found this on, like, maybe the last five minutes... It would have definitely been worth it. Even if we would have found it and like, held back until the last five minutes to go, it would have been worth it. Oh, definitely. Well, there is a massive ravine of death. <laughs> Just before the mansion. Oh, the mansion, yeah! That's oh! Awesome. Splat. That, that, that probably would have been me, big... So excited about spotting this mansion. Oh, wow, mansion, mansion, mansion. Like, ah! Like a proper massive drop. <laughs> <laughs> well, it goes all down to like level like 30, 38, so it's quite a deep. Jeez. Well, this is one hell of a ravine, this. And it, and it intersects with another, another one, flipping heck. What a drop that is. I, I think we did good though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I think he's only disandable a bit. Whoa, yeah. That would have been a disaster. <laughs> of the um, floating sand. Holy crap. This thing really does go down scarily deep. Uh, I wouldn't like to live in this mansion to be a sinkhole due soon because it's right above a ravine. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh. I hope he's got strong foundations. 
Cobblestone will be the only thing to hold you up. Yep. That's nuts. I can't believe we were so close to it the whole time, didn't even know it. Oh no. Uh, I, I bet they that deliberately, like, uh, let's use this thing, because there's a wooden mansion nearby, massive mineshaft uh, underneath spawn, loads of dungeons. I bet they did that deliberately, you know. Oh, I'm sure they did. Well, that is the um, end of episode 10, peeps. Um, so, yeah, uh, so yeah uh, thank you very much for watching this series. Um, also, don't forget to check out the other two channels as well, Our Helm and the DVI Master. Um, this is CRT, logging off. Bye for now. Bye guys.